Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I'm coming on to make three little Slimland cards and uh, I'm going to do some embossing. If you're new to my channel, thank you for coming. It's Trisha here from Smith's Crafty Creations and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in the UK. So I'm going to use this Artistry and Blooms designer series paper, all right? Um, these are little um, money wallets or tag wallets for journaling that I've made um, using some of this paper. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at the gold glimmer. So there was one sheet that I wasn't so keen on and I thought, what can I do with it? So what I've done is I have made um, three card bases that measure two inches by just short of six inches. Uh, five and seven eighths to be precise and then I've used one piece of designer series paper I've used the other on the middle card and I've used a bit of both on the third card there and these measure one and seven eighths by five and three quarters so I thought mm, what am I going to do let's try and decorate them so what I done was I punched out um, using the heart pack punch the um, straight edged um, heart so we're going to gold emboss on that and I've just snipped a bit off the side because um, it was overlapping ever so slightly and I've done the same for this one so that will go in there and the designer series paper will do all of the talking I will use some of this um, gold um, not ribbon what is it called what's it called Oh no, it's retired anyway, I think. I'm sure it's retired. Oh, Anyway, I can check later. Um, I'm going to use this behind it as well just to make it pop a little bit. So, if I put that to the side, okay, on this card, I am going to try uh, for the first time stamp and emboss just using clear powder, um, the little flower and also the leaves from the uh, coordinating set, which is the... Um, artist, artistically inked so this is it here so this flower and this uh, leaf and this little one here so um, all I'm going to do for that is stamp um, and soft succulent for the leaves and stamp in pale papaya for the flower and then I'll add some very quickly I'll add some clear embossing powder and then I'll heat set it so let me find the clear embossing powder in my little pile. I've got my Versamark here for when I do my gold. So I'll pop that to the side now. I thought I'll come on and craft because I am home alone again. Everybody just comes in, eats tea and goes out every single night. So I'm home alone so I'm going to craft which is fab. I ain't complaining. But when you've been inside all day on your own you do miss a little bit company you know. Right, so I'm just um, emboss buddying this. Unfortunately, we don't offer this anymore in the catalogue, but you can make your own um, just with some talc or something inside uh, some um, tight, uh, oh, what's the word? Some cotton that's tight, so it's like the fibres are squashed together better. Um, or you can get one out at your local craft store. So I've done that. What I'm going to do is I am going to stamp... Um, you better get ready. I want to stamp the flower, and I'm also going to stamp the leaf and the small leaf. Okay, so I need to get ready because I want to be quick before it dries off. Okay, now let me check that you can actually see what I'm doing here. Yeah, it's not bad, not bad view. Right, so both inks open. Do, 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 do. And the soft succulent. So I need to be quick. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that on there. I'm going to pop that on there. I'm going to pop the little one on there. Then we're very quickly going to add some clear embossing powder. Okay, so just add a little bit. You can see that it's stuck there. And it will give it a little um, wet look. Once the same um, heat heat set, that's the the goal anyway. We shall see. I've not done this in ages. 
Right, let me um, pop them out of the way just now. I can clean them later. Let's heat this gun up. I hope everybody's been well. It's been really, really cold this morning. And then um, afternoon into um, tonight has been really, really warm again. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a sure sign that um, autumn's coming soon because of the colder mornings. Um, but we're still lucky enough to get some sunshine in the afternoon. Right, let's see now, and I hope we can see the magic happening. Right, let's go. So I'm just going to heat set that, and it basically just makes it go kind of like a wet look. It's just taking its time to set. I've never done this before with the uh, um, distinctive stamps. Obviously, it's not going to be as um, as much of a glow as you would get with a normal stamp, just because the textures are different. But it's still fine. That would still look nice. Yep. So you could almost see a little. A little shine on certain patches of that, almost glittery. So that's absolutely fab. Right, okay, on to the next bit. So, again, bring this back. I am going to stamp on... Um, I don't need that, actually. I need to stamp on here. And I need to stamp on there. So I do need little tweezers. Okay, I need my gold at the ready. Dum -ba -bum -ba -bum. Hopefully this will turn out okay. I need that. Let me clean this. Um, a little leaf off. Mm -hmm. These have been um, freshly washed. My um, Simply Chamois popped them through the rinse on the washing machine, which works fabulous. Right, what else do I need to clean? I need to clean the little leaf. Da -da 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 -da. Do you know, I've never actually had to re ink my um, Versamark since I got it and I've had it a long time. Um, one more to clean off which is the beautiful, beautiful flower bud. La, 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 la. Okay, pop that back. So we're using two sentiments out of this um, artistically inked. Okay, so let's get jiggy with it. So let's pop these up on some blocks just now. So that are ready, I need to emboss buddy these. So I'm not going to touch them with my um, my hands at all. I'm going to use the tweezers because any little bit of um, moisture off your hands could, um, well, that would just make it go all funny. So I'm just going to stamp best wishes on that. Pop that to the side. I'm going to stamp... Hello on this one. Pop it to the side. Okay, I'm just going to add gold embossing powder. Okay, I'm going to pick it up. Ta da! I think I might add some more onto that. If you're not happy with the thickness, simply um, run some more of your embossing um, powder over the top. Perfect. Right, now before I heat emboss, I need to put that away. I need to make sure that this gold is put away also because I don't want to blow it all over my desk. That would be an absolute nightmare. Right, and you're ready. Let's do one at a time. Let's start with hello. Okay, so nice hot um, heat gun. I'm so sorry, I'm terrible with my words. I get a brain fog a lot of the time. But you know what I mean. You all know me well by now. A lot of people finish my sentences for me, just for that reason. I forget my words and stuff. <laughs> right, so there's hello. Very pretty. And here is best wishes. So hopefully you can see the magic happening. Oh, it's very pretty. Great. And you don't need it on too long. That's how I like to um, warm it up first. 
and then I know that um, it's going to heat set quick enough. Right, I just need to grab a little tissue if I've got one because I don't like the feel of embossing powder on my desk. Right, okay, so let's do this. So I love, I absolutely love my stamp and seal for adding, um, if I pop that there, yeah, that's fine, for adding um, ribbon, etc., to cards. Um, let me see, where did I put my ribbon? Here we go. And, by the way, I found my paper and ribbon snips. I had uh, lost them for about a week there, and do you know where I found them? In another pen tidy holder. I was like, what? What, what, what? Okay, I'm just going to pop that down there. Let's get another bit on this card. Oh, so I've been off on holiday all week. The plan was to try and paint the piano and upcycle it to a more suitable colour for the craft room. It's not happened. I've just not been feeling very motivated to do any painting. So I might do it over the weekend or I might um, have to talk my husband into doing it actually. Uh -huh. Right, so these little frayed bits, you can just tuck them back under if you want. And I'm going to add this with dimensionals. So the large ones are fine. What would also be nice is if you... Wait a second, can't do two things at once, this and talk. If you were to stamp and emboss directly on top of this paper, that would look gorgeous as well. Really, really would. Okay, so there's the first card. So it's really super sweet. And you can get four of these out of one A4 sheet. Um, and it's good because sometimes I just pop them in a cello bag with a little gift or something. So I'm not too fussy about not having the, the right size envelopes. Okay, so let's get this one done. Thank you so much to people that keep subscribing. I managed to reach my goal of 2,000 and then I lost four in the matter of a day and then I got another three and so I don't know what I'm sitting at now. I'm not going to be watching anymore because it's like um, it's like watching paint dry, isn't it? The more you look, the more it doesn't happen. But I'm so grateful for everybody that does come on. Ta-da! Isn't that gorgeous? Right, last card. This is going to be the... One that I'm not sure about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fussy cut. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. I'm not going to put a sentiment on here. But you could stamp, say, for instance, in even an evergreen or um, one of the darker greens or what have you. But just make sure it doesn't clash too much. Now, when I fussy cut, I do try to get a tiny little white border. And basically, I've just ruined mine there. Right, take your time, Trisha. Okay. What I have noticed um, in the evenings now, it is a lot easier to hose the plants down and give them a good water. Um, and I gave my plants a uh, good water this morning as well with the hose. And, I, and when I say plants, I mean my potted plants because my garden front and back is... Um, mm. Concrete jungle. It's all chip stones, monoblock, um, or Deccan. So, and it's like that for a reason because I'm just not a good gardener at all. I'm a lovely neighbour next door, has a beautiful garden every summer, and she's quite new to it as well. I think she's only been gardening a couple of years now, but. She really does a great job and she's um, she's going to start off some sunflowers for me for next year. When the time is right, I don't know when that is, but I can't wait. So, just going to layer this up. I think I'll add a little bit of um, the gold as well. Okay, I'm just going to pop it on there. I mean, this lasts forever when you use it sensibly. Um, especially like the um, twine and the trim. There's always seems to be a little bit more on the reel of these ones than there is um, of the other ribbon. But the other ribbons, there is a lot. It's just you get so much more with this and it seems to last a bit longer. OK, 
here. Let me pop this up with a dimensional. So it's been quite a quiet month in terms of sales for me. And it's even been quiet for me being more in customer at times as well. <laughs> I've just um, just been a bit... can't afford as much this month. But I have had my freebies last month, so it's absolutely fine. Right, this I want to just stick down, actually. Where's my tumble? So I've had a good catch-up with a few of the team this week, which has been amazing. I had two new ladies, two wonderfully talented crafters uh, join my team in August. So um, I'm hoping to encourage some more to join Team Smithy in September while the celebration is running. Uh, it really is a wonderful offer. Uh, and there's no pressure to sell, no pressure to be a business or anything in my team. Of course, if you whatever angle you want to go, I'll support you 100%. So, aren't these gorgeous? Not bad. And this one's just plain. However, don't know if you've seen my many happenings and many messages um, stab and die bundles. If you look back um, my, my blog at smithscraftacreations.com, you'll see I've popped one up. So I have stamped an array of sentiments in a neutral colour, which is grey granite. Um, and these are perfect because if you're making cards like this, all you need to do is simply pick a sentiment for the um, occasion. So there's happily ever after. Isn't that gorgeous? Happily ever after. There are no words if it's one of the sad cards. Hooray, it's your birthday. Happy retirement. Oh, that one is adorable. And these are just perfect. I do like the long sentiments. May precious memories bring peace and comfort. And these are perfectly sized for these um, size of cards that I've just made up, basically. Hope your day is full of love, laughter and joy. Thank you for being you. You could chuck that under there. Mr and Mrs... I mean, these papers are gorgeous for any occasion. Uh, that's another lost one. Happy anniversary. It's my anniversary this month on my 43rd birthday. So, there's a happy birthday one. It's quite nice. Now, the neutrals tend to go with any of our colours, which is really good. Um, that's how I thought. If you're going to um, stamp with these um, stamps. So, here's one of them. Um, you do it in a neutral colour and here's the one die. So it's one stamp, one die and I've, I've got the other one here. And look at all those um, all those lovely different sentiments and fonts. Something for everything there so I'm so glad that I bought that. Okay folks, that is all from me today. I hope I've not taken too long to make the cards. Um, I'm hoping to try and come on with more non-Christmas themed cards. I've been doing a lot of Christmas themed uh, things. Um, oh, quickly before I go, I want to show you my little um, customer gifts for the month of September. And of course, if you enter my hostess code, uh, which you can get on my website, you will also receive some free gifts. So there's a business card in there. There's a lovely little Earl Grey tea uh, with some of our free um, dear papers, which is Christmas one. Free as part of celebration. And uh, yeah, lovely little cinnamon on there. So that's my customer gifts. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will try and get a blog post up about this. But in the meantime, have fun. Play with those designer series papers. Do a little embossing if you've not done it in a little while. Because it can make a fairly plain card a little bit more special. And like I say, sometimes the designer series paper does all of the talking. Okay, folks, thank you so much. Please like, comment and share. And if you can be bothered with me, um, subscribe as well. Thanks, guys. See you after.